Hayden setting some impressive times this morning and um, you're actually now just one second off the overall lead of the Otago Rally. Oh, we, you know, we're just doing the same thing as what we were yesterday, just driving our own rally and, and enjoying it and probably, if anything, just trying to drive it a bit straighter and a bit smoother today. I think that's probably the, the best way to get the fastest time, so that's uh, good, but obviously a long way to go. The long forest stage will, uh, will be a bit of a sting in the tail, so we need to keep a clean pair of heels. Um, you'll handle a long stage, you're not... Um you're used to that, but it's keeping the car going. I see the service crew here working on the car. It's a lot of work, you know, keeping these older cars going, isn't it? Yeah, well, they are a bit more basic, I guess. There's not too much to them, but uh, they obviously do need a bit of maintenance and keep an eye on things. So, you know, the guys have been doing an amazing job the last couple of days, and, you know, these are the guys that are always with me working, best mates, and, uh, you know, they put a lot of passion into it. You finished the rally tonight and uh, you're testing in Poland on Wednesday morning. Um, can you tell us about these WRC cars and the difference, you know, they just throw all the new parts at them, don't they? Oh, it's, a, it's a different kettle of fish, like uh, there's absolutely no comparison to this sort of car. But, you know, the Hyundai is just an amazing car to drive and to be part of a factory team is a, a dream come true. And, you know, when you're in those cars, they do absolutely everything you want as a driver. Uh, the team's working tirelessly uh, to be able to be winning, so um, to be in that environment's great, but obviously there's a, a lot of pressure to perform as well. So you test in Poland, and um, can you just tell the people, you know, with these test sessions, do you get to give a lot of feedback to the team about the car and, and the handling and have a lot of input there? Yeah, obviously the, with the test it's sort of a, you know, we're trying to do two things. We're trying to, you know, get best set up for the upcoming rallies, but we're also trying to develop the car to be faster in general as well. So often you go to test these new parts to be trying, some work, some don't. Uh, then of course, you know, we, you know, I've got, between myself and the engineer, we're setting up the car to suit for my driving style. And, you know, I'm, I'm changing my driving style a little bit this year to, to match the others uh, and to be a bit more aggressive. But, you know, they're, they're fully um, trustworthy in, in my feedback and comments and as a team we're all trying to work together, all three drivers, to, to make the car be able to be winning in the near future. As you said, there's three drivers in the team, do you share information? Yeah, it's an open book policy in the team. Uh, as I say, ultimately the, the ultimate goal is for the team to win the Manufacturers Championship. So, you know, as, as a driver, our job is to help make the car go as fast as possible and uh, between events and then when we get to the events is to try and get the result. So back to the Targo Rally, you go out this afternoon and we've got the long stage as we touched on before. What's the strategy there in that stage? Uh, just same as what we're doing, just keep a clean pair of heels, uh, nice and smooth. Uh, you know, it's a, a bit rougher that stage. Okay, not rough by my terms, but a bit rougher compared to the other stages we do. So we have to look after the car a little bit and I think uh, up the gorge before we'll probably lose a little bit in two wheel drive. But then the last three after service, you know, I like those stages and uh, I'm sure we can pull in any gap then. Corey Bush, you're looking forward to that one, an iconic stage at the Otago Classic Rally. You've set some very good times there in the past, are you looking forward to that one? For sure, it's probably one of my highlights of the year that I'm looking forward to, so hopefully we can get through that far and uh, once we get there we'll be putting the hammer down. Thanks Hayden. Cool, thank you.